Just behind me is the home of Tiffany George. George's seven-year-old son was taken out of her custody several weeks ago and given to her ex-boyfriend, who is the child's father. Tiffany complains that the child was wrongfully taken out of her custody and she's hoping that at some point she will be able to have her son in her custody again. The complaint is that Tiffany is not fit to have her son with her at this time. However, according to Tiffany, this is not true. At this time, Tiffany is allowed to visit her son twice per week, that is on Wednesdays and Fridays, but for one hour each day. This is being done at the Child Care Protection Agency, where she has to meet with her son and is under supervision for the entire visit. She says that this is very uncomfortable for her and she's hopeful that at some point she will be able to have custody or visiting rights with her son without having to prove that she is fit to be his mother. They haven't told me why they take away this child from me or, or nothing. They say the child being abused, but that child don't be abused. The father been to the child care protection agency and lie on me. They gave me two days a week to go to the child care and spend one hour with the child and after that the child is taken away from me to go back to back to his father um i don't feel good at, of it at all because um the father the child living with me all the time two years mean it mean the father leave and my son is living with me all the time my son don't be abused and nobody for me don't abuse, abuse my son. On August 2nd, 2023, the seven-year-old boy was taken from his Sophia Greater Georgetown home by his father after an issue involving the boy's stepfather, Rose. According to his mother, Tiffany George, the boy was accused of hitting her current boyfriend with a toy. The boyfriend became aggravated because the boy was warned several times before to desist from doing so. But the boy's aunt, Beverly Josiah, told the newsroom that the boy complained to his father that his stepfather was stuffing toilet tissue into his mouth. As such, his father took him to the Child Care and Protection Agency. Their welfare officers said it was best for the boy to stay with his father while an investigation was conducted. George has denied the accusations of ill treatment demonstrated toward her son. She has also said that she even tried to get the father to allow her to get to keep her son on weekends. I said, man, let me done this whole welfare matter. This me, you child. Let me, you sit down and talk about this thing. Right? And I said, man, it is the school there next to you. Let me stay with you during the week. Mm -hmm. And he come with me mm -hmm. from Friday to Sunday. I, he said, that, um... He ain't doing nothing like that. He said he, he said he ain't doing nothing like that, and um, he listening to what the welfare tell him. At this time, the young boy is still in his father's care. However, Tiffany has said she is willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that she gets the type of support that she needs to have her son with her. Reporting for the newsroom from the Sophia home of Tiffany George, I am Uzina Yearwood.